few different things when you're working on stuff. First off, I'm out here trying to fix a Bobcat at night. One of the things I think is wrong with it is I got some bad connections. Now, my son was working with this thing today and already took, and he and a young man worked with him. They replaced the starter, they replaced the battery. Uh, though they ran it down, I had to go ahead and charge it. They replaced the starter relay. Right now I'm coming in here, I'm gonna be replacing, putting on new uh, battery connections. So that one, the old one's pretty bad, I pulled it off. A lot of stuff to layer in here, uh, or tie in here. But I will tell you, having these things on hand is great. May not seem like much, but I bought a pack of these, I think 10 of them for about 14 bucks. And we've used them a lot more than you'd think. So sometimes you're working on products, especially if you're in the country, it's a good idea. Get extra, you'll appreciate having them around. Um, also, I'm going to tell you is stay up on, on top of your maintenance. This right here is completely self-inflicted. We've had issues with this uh, negative cable having connection before. And uh, granted, the battery is about four years old, so didn't you know? don't mind that it happened. The starter probably hasn't been replaced, and it's about nine years old. So all these types of things, it's not like it's a complete waste of time. It's just horribly inconvenient. So as I'm sharing different tips and tricks and things that I've learned, stay on top of your maintenance. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of don't uh, do as I say, not as I do, but I guess I'd rather say learn from my mistakes. Otherwise, you're going to be out here at night with a whole bunch of tools wishing you were at home watching a movie, chilling out.